know, drugs weren't like they are now. Like, uh, I can even remember back to when I first started using heroin when I was 19. I couldn't just go to, uh, you know, I couldn't get it here in town. Nobody had it here in town. They, you might have crack or coke, but nobody had heroin. Heroin was like this unheard of thing. I always had to drive to Peoria to get it. Um, right about when I was like 22, 22 was when like it started you know showing up here there was like one person selling it and then like it was like a feeding frenzy pretty soon like everyone caught on to it and I think that's a lot of the reason like that it's becoming such an epidemic now is because so many people are selling it and it's everywhere it's in every little town I feel like it's definitely going to be a struggle for my generation because my generation is the generation that's experimenting with new things and uh not really having a you know a grip on how to handle it so i mean if i was to talk to someone that was in current an active addiction i you know i tell them you know like i know that you're suffering and i know that everything sucks right now and you don't see any way out but there definitely is a way out you know if i can do it anybody can do it and i firmly believe that because uh, i mean i was as far gone as they get almost you know uh I would recommend them to get go to go to an inpatient treatment center, give it 30 days. This is the way I always looked at it. You gave drugs how many years of your life? Why can't you give sobriety 30 days? If at the end of the 30 days it was all pointless, stupid, and a waste of time, then you go back to wasting your life on drugs. You know, luckily for me, I went through the 30 days and it, it made a huge impact on me and changed my life completely.